right, today we're gonna to talk about free traffic. Why you want it and how to get it, okay? Everybody loves free traffic because it's free. My favorite part about free traffic is the way in which it converts. See, anytime you're, you're looking to, to gather free traffic, you know, not paid advertising, you're going after free traffic, uh, chances are that all the methods out there, at least most of the, most of the methods out there, are gonna capture this traffic uh, when they're in essentially buy mode for your relevant offer. Now, now what I mean by that is, okay, if you're doing Google AdWords, okay, you're doing a pay-per-click uh, in the search results. Someone types in a search, so they're searching for the best coffee maker, and their you know, search engine returns results, and the top two or three or four uh, results are ads. Now, you can put your advertisement right there and pay every time someone clicks on your ad, and, and that's when you're hitting people in, in the buy mode, so that's why it's a powerful ad. They, they, they are looking to buy a coffee maker so present them with your coffee maker. The problem with that is, is because they're obviously in the buy mode, uh, you know, the cost per click can get really expensive. So the winner here is, is who can optimize, you know, their conversions the, the most or the best. Okay. Because you gotta, you gotta play with your margins there. So, you know, it's really super competitive and generally you need a lot of money to, to kind of test and and retest. And the other side of that is Facebook advertising. Now Facebook advertising is really cheap. You can get a lot of views for, for, for really insanely cheap. You can even get clicks for cheap. Now the problem with that though is is you have to sell someone on Facebook, okay? They're you know retargeting, I don't want to get into that right now, but if you're running just an ad on Facebook, your first ad, okay, they are not necessarily looking for what you have to offer. So you really, it's more of a sales process. So, you know, while it's great and it works extremely well for in, in a lot of instances, you know, you're not targeting warm or hot buyers. Free traffic, when you gather free traffic, when you drive free traffic, the ways you drive free traffic to your site or to your store, you're finding them while they're searching, while they're in the buy mode. So it converts. I mean, it converts way better than Facebook traffic and it's obviously way cheaper than Google AdWords. So what we're going to talk about today specifically, because uh, we've been talking a lot about it lately, is how to drive free traffic to your Shopify store. Okay, this will work for anything. If you have a blog or a website or a business, it doesn't matter. It'll work for everything. It's the same concept. But what we're going to do is we're going to relate this specifically to driving free traffic to your Shopify store. Now, the, the first place I want to talk about, if you follow the channel, uh, you've probably heard me talk about this before. If you haven't followed the channel yet, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but please, you know, subscribe. I, I give out great information here. Uh, people seem to be pretty pleased overall with the with the quality of information that I give out here. And of course, as always, um, you know, as you're watching this video, I always put super helpful links uh, down down below for you, uh, kind of related to to the topic at hand. So if you're you know have a Shopify store. Or if you're thinking about uh, starting a Shopify store, or if you have a blog, or or for some reason you're online and you need free traffic, uh, you know, go ahead and check out some of the helpful links below. You know, after the video here. But let's get back to the to the topic at hand here. One of my free favorite, just absolutely favorite ways to get free traffic right now is Quora, and you know, this is my Quora profile. Okay, now, I haven't been on Quora too long. It's been around for a little while, but it's starting to really gain popularity right now. I don't know if exactly, but I've probably been down here less than six months, okay? And remember, you know, even though I've been an online marketer for, you know, what, four and a half years now, it doesn't matter because Quora, I came to it brand new, so I had no competitive advantage over, you know, than you would if you started on, on Quora today. So, once again, what we're looking at here is in less than six months, uh, I have over 284,000 views, so this gets a lot of eyeballs to it. And what it is, it's a question and answer site. It's kind of the newer version of the old Yahoo Answers. Uh, the great thing about it is you can you can place links back to your Shopify store or your blog or your YouTube channel or wherever you want to, to place links and, and you won't get penalized. And I'm not just talking about here up in your profile, okay? You can place a link in every single answer. All right, so the way this works is is what you're going to do is you're going to search out you know questions that have already been asked that are related to your niche okay or your your, your store profile or your blog profile or whatever you're trying to drive traffic to so let's say you have a fashion store on shopify or a fashion blog so just type in fashion okay in the search profile here and topic's going to come up fashion and style so let's see there just click on whatever 
topic uh, is most closely related to to your actual store. And so let's say we're on men's fashion. Here's where we ended up. So what you're going to do is you're going to just look at this and say, you know, what are questions that are getting a lot of views? Okay. And you're going to look for questions that have a lot of upvotes because that means, you know, people are paying attention. Okay. So for instance, if you own a fashion blog or a fashion, you know, Shopify store or whatever, you can see this, this, uh, question right here has 1.5 or 1500 upvotes. There's uh, 38 comments on it. And then uh, what we can do is you can click on this and you, you can see, see what's been done here. All right. He's given an answer uh, in detail and you know, people really appreciate this. So what you would do, okay, is you would go to this, uh, let me see if I can find an example. Well, let me just show you what I did. So here's a question that was asked. I'm 20 with $1,000 and heard about the joys of being a drop shipper. Where do I start? I said, well, remember drop shipping is a business and it's very possible to do well, but it's also very possible to fail. Either way, it's going to require work. So what I do is I give it a great answer here, okay? And then I put a link to this YouTube video in there and it shows this video right inside the answer. Now this only has 207 views. Let's take a look at another one. Could you make $2,000 a month as a full-time blogger? Was a question. So I answer the question. I give, you know, yes, no, here's what you need to know. I go into detail, I put a video in there, and then I say down here at the bottom, feel free to swing by my YouTube channel. I try to be as helpful as possible with regards to many different topics. And there's a link. Now that's 508 views right there. Let's find more. How can I start a drop shipping business with no money? There's a way to do this. You have to have a bank account and a credit card, but you literally literally need zero dollars. And then here's a link to this YouTube video. And then I, and I talk about it. Give what you need to know. And if you want to know more, you can go to my blog post. That's got 1400 views. And you can see all this stuff, you know, starts to add up, you know, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. But that's the cool thing about it. You can put these links right in the bottom there and you won't get penalized as long as you're giving an insightful answer. And that's the other thing you have to give up an insightful answer because you know if you don't give an insightful answer and a, a detailed answer it's good it's never going to show up and it's going to get zero views so, so you know put some time into it so this is how can i make five thousand dollars per month working from home so let's see here it's always good to put a little image here with a little uh you know title tag in there because it draws people's attention it helps get that uh bumped up to the top there and then so i you know i give them an answer what's the easiest way to make five thousand dollars a month you know i put a link to this video and this has 27,000 views. Now, if you go to my YouTube channel right now, you know, depends on when you watch this, but at this time, this, this video has over 20,000 views. And a lot of that is because I seeded it with, with Quora answers, all right? And, and that's, I mean, and then after, you know, it starts getting momentum, it, you know, it just kind of takes off on its own as long as it's, you know, a good video, which that is, or a good blog post, which, you know, is, is what it's all about. So you can see how this works. I mean, you can just go and search any any topic and find answers um, and you can kind of even go outside the box you know I live in I live in Dallas so I answer Dallas questions and it just kind of build up your profile and you know that's what it's all about if you're looking for free traffic you just got to get yourself out there you know as as many ways as possible you know and then the other thing you can do is you, if you want to uh, talk about uh, easily find uh, what are the hot topics on Quora say you're looking for women's fashion is your blog or your store oops fashion and if you just type in women's fashion quora okay and hit enter you know chances are the top results that that come back in in the search results are going to be the ones that are getting the most attention so for instance if you click on uh the second one women's fashion and style this question is women's fashion and style what are the five essentials for your wardrobe so if you own a fashion blog or a fashion shopify store you're going to know the answer to this go ahead and take some time write a detailed post and say, you know, if you want to know more about, uh, you know, or, you know, a great thing to do here would be see five more essentials. That's it. The content upgrade. That's always great when you're doing stuff like this content tent upgrade, interested in five more essentials for your fashion wardrobe. Okay. 
click on the link below and, and send them to your blog post about the 10 essentials or five essentials for, for your wardrobe. And look at this has 10,000 views on it. So that's driving a ton of traffic. And, that's, and the cool thing about this is, is there's no such thing as duplicate penalty anymore. I mean, yeah, maybe there is, but there's not. Don't even worry about it. So if you have a blog post that's, you know, 1200 words already, and if you have a Shopify store, you should be blogging, especially if you want free traffic. Then you could just take little snippets out of here and simply copy and paste them into the appropriate answer. So, you know, hopefully we, we, we've seen some light bulbs there. You know, I don't really want to over talk that to death. Let's move on to the next source of free traffic. And that's going to be YouTube. Uh, YouTube is unbelievable for getting traffic. OK, it, because, you know, it, it takes a little bit of time to, to make a video but it doesn't have to be professional, okay? You can just, if you have an iPhone or a Samsung, probably anything, you know, in the past three or four years, it's good enough to do YouTube. Okay, now if you really want to, um, you know, increase your YouTube game, you get like a 10 or $20 uh, little uh, microphone that, that pins onto your shirt there. You can plug it right into your iPhone and, and get a little uh, softbox light or, you know, one of those ring lights or something like that and a tripod. So for under a hundred bucks, you know, as long as you have the phone already, I mean, you can start doing good enough quality video to really uh, set yourself apart on YouTube. But, you know, the thing is, is see what's popular right now. So I've seen this all over the place, these hauls, they call them. And what it is, these, these bloggers, they go to the store or whatever, and they buy like, you know, $1,000 worth of stuff, and then they simply just, just show it, I guess. I don't really know. Um, I try not to get too caught up in watching too much stuff on YouTube because, you know, as you know, if you online a lot, you can kind of get lost here. From time to time but but what I'm saying is is you know I've seen these and I, I checked them out a little bit so if, if you want a Shopify store with with a um, uh, you know clothing or accessories or or really anything I mean it work for hunting gear it will work for um, just uh, athletic apparel just anything I mean anything you sell really and you can do a, a reverse haul and, and, and I haven't really seen much of these, so it's probably a pretty good idea that would probably get a lot of attention. So instead of, you know, these people showing uh, what they went and bought, show what was just added to your store. Okay, and then put, and then the key here is you gotta put, include the, the word haul into your, into your title. But, uh, you know, title it a reverse haul, you know, uh, your boutique reverse haul, and they'll get attention. I mean, it'll, it'll pique people's interest, and, and you might even start a trend. I'm not gonna do it. Take that. That's a free one for you. And like I said, it won't work for anything. It doesn't have to be clothing. It can be anything. YouTube is great. If you're not making video yet, you know, make some video. Um, as a matter of fact, while I'm thinking about it, I'll put some links in the description below just to kind of show you uh, some of the cheaper but good uh, equipment purchase that that you need to, to, you know, get high quality videos without spending a lot of money. And once again, as long as you already have the, the iPhone or the Samsung or whatever. Uh, so yeah, YouTube, if you're not making video, get out there, start making video. It'll pay huge dividends. Uh, the other one is Tumblr. And there's probably going to be people who are going to laugh. But I mean, I've driven an absolute ton of traffic with Tumblr. I mean, you just, it's crazy. I don't know why nobody's talking about this. Probably because they're hoarding it from some, themselves. But you know, if you have a if you have a niche blog or a niche store, which which most people do, then then make a Tumblr page that is you know related to to whatever it is that you do. Okay, so for instance, I just typed in survival gear, and you know these look at this guy's probably selling paracord bracelets over here. Check this out. Yeah, so this survival kit bracelets is the name of his Tumblr site, and you know all he does is just you know do pictures of of you know survival stuff it doesn't even have to be you know stuff you create you can just reblog stuff and then all he does is let's see all right so if you want to buy this watch let's see where this sends us i i haven't even looked at this yet okay so it sends over to his instagram let's see there you go you click on his instagram and then you click over on his instagram profile and there we are we're at his store all right, that's probably a Shopify store. Let's see. I don't know. This guy's store is not very clean. But anyways, it might be a Shopify store. Either way, it very well could be. Uh, but that brings up another great point as well. Okay, so I mentioned how Tumblr is great for driving traffic. And I'll talk about why in just a second. But he didn't link directly to his store. Okay, he linked to his Instagram account. 
Now, this is a great way to kind of generate traffic. So the Tumblr, which he works on, drives traffic to his to his Instagram store instead of straight to his his or to his Instagram page instead of straight to his store. So he's building uh, his Instagram following. He's not doing a great job, but he's getting he must be just getting started. And you know, two things are growing at once now, and then you can use both of these accounts to promote your blog or your store. But you can see this this will work for anything that is is uh, niche, you know, because all you have to do is, you know, the reason Tumblr works so well is because there's the reblog feature that's automatically ingrained. So anytime someone's looking at your blog, okay? So when people see something they like on Tumblr, they just hit the reblog button. That's it. And it reposts it on their blog. It's like saying, hey, this is cool. Check it out. And people reblog stuff all the time because the more you reblog, the you know more followers you get and the, the bigger your blog grows. So what happens is you can put, you know, you can reblog something and then you can put your links in the description here. Now, if you're sending them to an affiliate offer, your Tumblr is going to get shut down eventually. But if you're sending them to your blog or to your Shopify store, you're golden. Okay. And then so every time someone reblogs this, it's not just going to carry your image. It's going to carry your link. And it's like the, you know, it's like the theory that all right, if you tell one person and he tells two people and each of those two people tell two more people and each of those four people tell two more people so on and so forth then you get this it's it's got this viral spreading action built right in it's just amazing i mean you can absolutely drive a ton of free traffic with tumblr and you just got to put your links in the in the in the comments and just post a bunch of images okay that are related to your niche and like I said, you can even just reblog them and then put your links into the into the comments. I mean, it's you'll see if you haven't if you're not familiar with Tumblr, go check it out. If you are familiar with Tumblr but have written it off or forgotten about it, get on it. I mean, you can just drive a ton of traffic there. And then there's always the opportunity to go viral. Um, if you want to increase your chances of going viral, you know, for your blog and or even if your Shopify store, once again, I said you should be blogging on your Shopify store. Just go to Upworthy or Buzzworthy and just take a look around at their articles and find one that is related to your niche or your blog or your store and essentially model your blog posts after this because this is what these uh, two companies do. I mean, they just, they're the kings of going viral. So just model your blog posts after after what they're doing and then last not but not least you know i've talked about buzz sumo it's kind of the same thing as buzzworthy or upworthy you know if if you have a fashion blog let's just stick with the same trend here um if you type in fashion into buzz sumo you get like two or three trials or two or three free searches a day so you don't have to pay for this um but if you if you just type in whatever your niche is in, in buzz sumo and i've talked about this before but it's always worth mentioning you know, it's going to show you the content that's going viral. Look at this, 24 things women over 30 should wear. It's got 1.2 million Facebook engagements, uh, 3,400 Pinterest shares. It's going all over Twitter. So all you do is you take a look at that, check it out. So yeah, just uh, all it is is a bunch of uh, pictures, okay? So you can just put a bunch of pictures of stuff on your Shopify store, and then down here... But if you want to buy this jacket, go here, okay? I've talked about this before in my Shopify setup. But th th this is nothing. I mean, that is nothing. And it's got 1.2 million shares. So as you can see, images are huge. You know, maybe you can change it if you want. You don't have to. Maybe it's 20 things women over 20 should wear or, or 20 things women under 40 should wear or, or you may do them all. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, you just want to find what's going uh, viral, essentially, and just model yourself after it because... You know, that's a great way to get free traffic as well is just, you know, create great content. I mean, what it really comes down to is that's the best way to get free uh, traffic is to create great content. You know, I I love it once again because it converts. And, and you know, as as we as we kind of touched on, you know, if you're if you're doing paid advertisements, you have to worry a lot about conversions in order to be profitable. If you got free traffic, your conversions, it really doesn't matter. I mean, you can start with whatever you got, start driving free traffic to it, and then see what your sales are, and then test things out and, and try to make more sales. So that's it. In a nutshell, free traffic, 
Uh, I hope you found some value. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I try to get to every single question I can. Uh, once again, there's always helpful links in the description. How to get it. Okay, 